Hey everybody, happy Monday. Coming at you with a Monday motivation. <laughs> this is gonna be a pretty um, short video, but I uh, just wanna share with you what God was showing me. I was in prayer with um, She Leads Michigan, uh, some of the leaders on that, um, on the She Leads Michigan board and um, this morning. And we were praying for different people for healing and um, praying for our nation and lots of different things. And I saw this vision of um, a river and then a dam in front of the river where it just stopped, like the river stopped flowing and then it was just, you know, after the dam it was calm, like stagnant water. And um, <clears throat> I heard God say that he's the God of the breakthrough. And I saw that as we are praying, as you are praying for uh, people in your life or situations in your life, you are literally like breaking that dam. So the dam is set up, the, the enemy has set up many things over many generations in the past to hold back what God, um, to try to hold back what God wants to do um, with his people and for his people in this season right now. So the enemy is trying to hold it back like a dam holding back water, like a dam holding back a, a mighty river. He is oppressing, he is pushing back, he is holding back, he is trying to uh, shut people up, he's trying to um, push down, oppress, oppose, um, stop, halt, or slow down the work of God. And yet, obviously, God and us as God's people are far stronger than what the enemy's trying to do. Every time that you pray, every time that you declare the word of God, it's like chiseling away at that um, at that dam that the enemy has set up. And uh, God is a God of breakthrough. So pretty soon, the entire dam is going to break because of our prayers constantly hitting at that dam, constantly hit, chiseling away at it. And this, one of the scriptures I heard was, um, the word of God is like a hammer. It is like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces. Well, it starts out saying, is not the word of God like fire and like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces? But I feel like through our authority, using God's word with our authority and our prayers with a, a great confidence is chiseling away at that dam. Everything the enemy has been doing to set up and oppose against God's people to try to hold back what God wants to do for us and through us in this season is um, it's breaking through. So we are literally breaking through. As we work together, we pray together, we speak the word together, we agree together of what God wants to do, it's breaking that dam and pretty soon it's gonna be like a sudden rush. It's gonna be like a sudden rush. This river is just gonna break through and a mighty rushing river is going to, of um, living water is going to go forward. I, I also heard the scripture that um, we are basically storming the gates of hell and, the, and Jesus said the gates of hell will not prevail against us. We are God's church and we are founded on the rock of Jesus Christ. Christ. And therefore, when we storm the gates together, the gates of hell cannot prevail against us. There is breakthrough coming. And then um, last scripture that he gave me with this. So don't stop praying. Don't stop declaring the word of God over your own personal situation, over the situations you know of around you in your family, in your church, uh, community and in our nation and even in the world because what you are doing is literally breaking that dam open. It's breaking it, breaking through the enemy. Um, in 2 Samuel 5 verse um, 20 and 21, David was facing uh, an enemy that was too strong for him. But God said, when you go against this enemy, uh, you will have a victory. So David went ahead and uh, with the army and went against them. It says, so David went to Baal Perazim and defeated the Philistines there. The Lord did it, David exclaimed. 
And this is going to be a victory that is to God's glory. God is going to do it. It's going to be very obvious that it is God breaking through. But it's our prayers and our declaring the word and our standing together in agreement with each other that is going to cause it to happen. The Lord did it, David exclaimed. He burst through my enemies like a raging flood. So he named the place Baal Perazim, which means the Lord who bursts through or the Lord of the breakthrough. So that is what God is doing. That's what he wants to encourage you with. It is working. What you are doing, what you are praying, it is working. It is breaking through the enemy's strongholds. The enemy cannot stand against the word of God and what Jesus has already done for us on the cross. So keep praying, keep declaring, keep believing, keep standing together in agreement. Um, breakthrough is on its way. So yeah, you guys feel free to like and share this video and um, praying for breakthrough for you today in Jesus name. Love you guys.